So today is gonna be, well, we're doing Digi shit again. So the video I wanted to make this week, I've had to push till next week. So that means we're back for another great ride and another terrible camera. Now this is the mini digital camera. That's all it's called. So real quick, let's just go through the features of this camera. It's a keychain, pretty sick. It's smaller than an Instax Mini. It has a whopping 0.1 megapixel. Now coolest of all, the viewfinder slides out and it's a backwards magnifying glass. So unfortunately there's no frame lines or anything because it's just a piece of plastic. So that means that getting shots and framing them is quite difficult. Anyway, let's go see what it can do. So after two days shooting with this camera, the photos aren't great. You've probably seen that. But there are a few weird things that I wanted to point out in that taking landscapes and things far away, everything just goes super weird into like one of those weird Instagram filters and there's zero detail in the photos. Like I get that it's 0.1 megapixel, but I didn't really see this one coming. The other thing was that around some of the photos, around the edges of the lens, it's super blurred and kind of gives like a Helios effect, which again, did not expect, but I guess I didn't really know what to expect with a camera like this. Now, in order to get photos off this thing, I had to, one, look it up because plugging it in just didn't do anything. It couldn't read the camera. So next I tried to install the software that came on the disc and running the software still couldn't connect to the camera, which sucks. So then I searched through YouTube to see if there was anything on there about how to connect it. And I found a weird amount of videos on it. And also a lot of people in the comments asking about drivers and trying to figure out how to use this thing. So there's already a user base. I don't get why, but there is apparently of people trying to trying to use this thing, so if you're one of the people trying to find drivers, um, I've got news for you. After figuring out that I cannot use Windows 10 to get photos of this, um, a lot of people in the comments were saying to try out Linux, so I couldn't be stuffed installing Linux into my PC, but I did want to try Windows XP, because my dad has an old ThinkPad that has Windows XP on it, so I decided to try that. I installed the install disk, and I got my images, and let me tell you, when I first saw them, I was stunned at how absolutely garbage the quality of these photos are. So to be honest, I'm actually kind of impressed with this camera. Um, it was a lot more fun than I thought it would be to actually go out and shoot. The viewfinder is actually a pretty impressive piece of engineering, and not being able to see the photos at all and having no faith that they'll actually turn out was kind of something that drove me to actually take photos. So in a similar sense of why I like to shoot film in that it keeps me in the moment and keeps me shooting rather than checking the back of my screen and all that kind of stuff. In that same kind of vein, I actually really enjoy shooting with it. So if you can manage to find one of these tiny pieces of shit and you have a Windows XP computer or use Linux, then I would say try it out because from the comments of those YouTube videos, everyone was saying they got it at like Dollar General or whatever dollar stores you have around. 
Um, no idea if you can still get them because I think it was a few years ago. But regardless, if you like the weird mosaic tile kind of effect to your images and don't plan on doing anything at all with the photos you take, then maybe this is the camera for you. So I hope you enjoyed this video. Um, I definitely did. And if you want to see more out of this camera, then let me know and I can try doing like portraits or I don't know, other stuff with this camera. But for now, I'm probably just gonna leave it on my shelf. So as always, if you wanna see more of my work, you can follow my Twitter and Instagram, which is Admig Media. And you can go to my website where you can see a bit more of a curated version of my feed. And I hope to see you guys soon.